We did it. We went out to the wild. Shop in person at H&M. And then we will shop online at H&M.com. And compare our experience. That's right. We look so good. You look great. Seriously? You look so sad. Hey, you guys, and welcome to Clever Style. Hi, guys. We are putting our fashion investigator hats on mm -hmm. and answering the age-old question, which is better, shopping in person or shopping online? Dun, dun, dun. We need to put it to the test, Sinead, mm -hmm. and shop in person at H&M. And then we will shop online at H&M.com. And compare our experiences. That's right. There are so many pros to shopping at home. First of all, you're comfortable. Mm -hmm. You can do whatever you want. You can be naked if you want. That's you right. can eat whatever. There's not like people around. You know, you can just be free. A con, however, I like to be able to feel the fabric. See how it's going yeah, to lay so on true. my body. You know what I mean? Yeah. The best part about shopping online is just the convenience of it. You can yeah. take your time. You can use the whole day to make your decisions. Relax. And it prevents you from being impulsive. The only bad thing about shopping online is no matter how many wonderful reviews, and I rely heavily on reviews. Same. Sometimes it just doesn't fit right. Mm -hmm. And no matter what they say the sale is online, the sale's always better in store. Always. Oof. There's people in person though. I know. Humans. Humans suck. We'll have to shop two outfits yes. each. One will be online, one will be in store. And mm -hmm. each of those outfits must be made up of four items mm -hmm. to make a complete outfit. So with both experiences overall, there's a few things that we need to consider. First of all, the diversity in the clothing mm -hmm. options, That's you know? Right. Also, the prices. Is it cheaper online? Is it cheaper in store? Is it more or less the same? Also, just the ease of finding things. Is right. it harder? Is it ever, it's everything all over the place? Mm -hmm. And you guys, the biggest thing, I think, mm -hmm. like, Sizes. And also, we are going to compare how much time it took us to buy the outfits online versus in person. Oh my gosh. Because it's different. I was going to say, we're about to stand in line and, again. Yeah, because there will be humans there. Okay, here we go. It's time to go to the mall. Let's go. We did it. We went out to the wild. I think I got a mosquito bite, See? but I'm okay. Wild. <laughs> the girls have gone wild. Because we did have to wear masks while we were in the store, we couldn't really talk to you guys while we were in there, so we just need to discuss yeah, a few things. That's right. First of all, it was extremely organized. It really was. But I think it's because people really haven't been up in there, you know? If you are getting back into shopping, go when it opens. You'll also be able to like breathe a little bit easier. Yeah. And because we were the one of the first ones in the store, it helped with organization for sure. It was gleam, sparkle, sparkle. Like diamonds. We're shopping for summer. They put a lot of brighter colors towards the front of the store. For sure. We walk in and you have two very different sections of the store. On one side you have young adult, maybe a little bit more dressy casual side. On the other side you have what I like to call the TikTok section. Every store has a TikTok section. Yeah. It seemed very seasonal appropriate. And like I didn't, just the colors too. It made me want Febreze. <laughs> I'm usually surprised at how affordable H&M is. It depends on the section for sure. Because mm -hmm. I feel like when you're in the more business corporate side, you can get things that are more pricey. Yeah. But definitely in the TikTok section, as you say, it's like pretty affordable. I really wanted a silk scarf to tie on my purse mm -hmm. and they didn't have them. And I feel like H&M, if I remember correctly, always has scarves. Well, I was going to say my biggest takeaway from our entire mall experience yeah. today, where the hell were all the accessories? Everything was in one section. You had bathing suits, the little accessories they did have, mm -hmm. plus like hair ties, scrunchies, clips, all within literally like a five foot space. Yeah. And I just don't remember it being like that. And there were no wallets. There were no panties. <laughs> that one. Not one. Time in a thong. Go, 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 go. When it comes to timing, I will say that I think we did a really good job. It took yeah. us about an hour, which is not bad. That's including lines. We really were able to see a lot of the store. We even went into the men's section upstairs. It has been a minute since I've shopped H&M both in store or online. So now that we have done in store, I'm so excited to see what they have online. Plus, I know there was something you loved in store, but they didn't have your size. Very true, and I hope they have it online. I hope they have it online. I am stressed out about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a mission to find this bathing suit that I saw in the store that looks like Brandy Cinderella threw up on it. I'm hoping that I can A, just find it online, and B, that they'll also have my size. It's possible. 
I haven't shopped at H&M in a very long time, mm -hmm. and the website is cute. So if I click on the women's tab, the trending now, the first one is Y2K Fashion, of course, which was the left side of the store, you wow. know, the TikTok section. It's not as much of a jarring difference between shopping online and shopping in store. I don't have the bathing suit. Seriously? I'm so sad. That's terrible. I really like this outfit, ribbed matching oh, set. Oh, that's cute. How do you describe the style? Summer. Chic, sophisticated chic summer, like a little bit like yachty. A little like, yachty? No, like getting on a yacht. <laughs> Let me search to see if they have any scarves. I'm gonna look at their bralette since that was the one thing I could not find. They have a couple, but when you type in bralette online, you're getting served a bunch of bikinis, so they're not really differentiating between the two. So they have scarves, like headbands that come already in a headband, you know, that's just tied. That's not yeah, what I want. No. I need a mm -hmm. fold. I think it's more expensive online, but I think it's just because they have nicer stuff online. They have a lot more of their chicer, more sophisticated, more fashion pieces. The thing I like about in-person better than online is there are only so many things you can look at. Right. Whereas online, there are so many pages and you feel the need to go through all of them 100%. to make sure you're not missing anything. After a while, things just start kind of meshing together. So I think we just shop and order and these focus. things and focus and we'll have to try them on when they come in. Go get a snack. Eventually. We are in our in-store outfits, and I must say, you look great. This looks so good. I mean, it turned out better than I expected because I was so stressed shopping. You know how I take my time? I'm so anxious when it comes to like making decisions. It's definitely a process. I actually found this right when we walked into the store. Really did. Because when you walk into a store, I always do a nice little Terminator scan. Saw this, and I was like, yep, that's it. I feel like this is a very quintessential me outfit. Absolutely. It reminds me of Clueless mm -hmm. vibes to me, so I always gravitate to or this yeah. type of style of dress, even tops and crop tops and stuff. Mm -hmm. There's something French about it too. Yeah, a little I bit. I think it's the collar as well and the fit and flare dress. Julia de Cune. Are you happy to be in Paris? I paired it with this really cute crossbody bag, yeah. which I like because it looks very like fake Chanel. You know, mm -hmm. the texture of it. Paired it with some gold jewelry. I have this cute. bracelet and these little mini beanie baby hoops, which I also feel like are very 90s because they did the chunky hoop, you know? It wasn't really oh, the skinny yeah. hoop. And then these sunglasses. Sunglasses are cute. Are yeah. really like chic, you know? I love them. Well, in total, I spent $88, which is aesthetically pleasing for me because I like the symmetry of it all. I'm proud of myself. I think I did a very good job for $88. Yeah. I got a purse, I got accessories, I got a dress. It's a full outfit. I must give her snaps for her courageous fashion efforts. I felt way more stressed than I expected to shopping in store. And it took me a longer time just to make decisions, but I ended up getting a, a solid outfit. I got these jeans. I got this bathing suit top because they didn't have bralettes. Mm -hmm. And that's another thing that I know for a fact that H&M has a ton of online. So I yeah. just forgot that things are that different in store and that they are moving things way faster. And for the sweater, I actually ended up getting both colors. I was having mm -hmm. a real tough time, remember? Yeah. White or blue, white or blue. And I got this little necklace too. So I ended up spending more money too. It was $101 because I got both colors. The bathing suits were a little disappointing. I was very shocked at how little bathing suits they had, yeah. how little sizing in bathing suits they had, and the accessories, the shoes, and even the bags. Like that was like the one part of the store that I was like, usually H&M has so many accessories. I got sad because I have flashbacks of the fact that they didn't have the Cinderella bathing yeah. suit. <laughs> For the in-store shopping experience, I'm gonna give it a four because I thought it was really convenient to find everything and it was nice and clean, but they didn't have a scarf or a Cinderella top. Overall, I think I would give H&M in-store a three out of five because yes, it's affordable, it's clean, they do a great job curating everything, but they're missing some key pieces and I need my key pieces. She does. Yep. We look! We look so good. Like we look so good. Come and see how good I look! I would have been done shopping online fairly quickly because once I stumbled onto this, we both kind of stumbled on this resort wear type of vibe that mm -hmm. they had going. The collection is amazing. I didn't see barely any of those things in the store. Mm -mm. Sinead, we need to go to Paris. So we need to go to Paris. We're gonna go to Paris. Let's go to Paris. We're gonna sing like Poisson. We're gonna eat quiche. I bought six pieces in total, two dresses, two tops, because I was oh, making yeah. so many sacrifices. Mm -hmm. The one thing I've been running into lately is an issue with sizing. And you look at their size chart, I just don't think it works out to be that great. Yeah. So I end up getting two dresses, two sweaters, plus sunglasses and these hoops. So cute. And I end up spending 145 for two dresses, two sweaters, that's, sunglasses and hoops. No, that's hella good for two outfits, basically. I almost felt a little bit more pressured in store because I'm like, well, this is what's here. I need to pick something, right? right. And being 
selling online, I think that also helped me to find better pieces at a lower price. It did take me an hour and a half because like I said, they didn't have my sizes. So a lot of extra time went into this, but I think the payoff is better because I'm way more happy with this outfit, yeah. but I also now have returns. And you guys know how I am with returns. Don't like that. I loved my in-store one, but I think I might like my online one even mm -hmm. better. I got these really freaking cute pants that are such a vibe. They scream vacation. Like we said, feels very resort, feels very yacht. If anybody has a boat, let us know. I paired it with this neon turtleneck because I just like the vibe. Something mm -hmm. about this neon with the brown, mm -hmm. with the white slash cream, the tortoiseshell of it all. <laughs> it just, I don't know, it just spoke to me, you know? It didn't- The tortoiseshell. <laughs> None of the pieces were next to each other on the website, no, but works. somehow I saw it came together and I really like the way it came out. And I spent $88 again, which I don't even understand how that happened. I'm gonna take it as a good omen. The symmetry of it all. I thought online was a little bit more difficult to navigate. I don't like when you go to the homepage and there's like all these big photos. Your homepage is beautiful, but I wanted to be able to find my tops, bottoms, and matching yeah. sets easier. It took me about 45 minutes to find everything, which is weird for me because I usually take so long to find things just right. because I want to go through all the tabs to make sure I'm getting exactly what I want, see if I can find something better. Found the top first and then so once you find one piece like this, especially when it's a statement piece, it's like, yes. okay, yes. easier to find everything else. So not bad. My overall rating for shopping online, hnm.com. I would have to give it a four out of five. To be honest with you, I just expected Good. to love online way more than shopping in store, but they both had their downfalls. Like I struggled to find my sizes during both situations, but I think just all the variety online would give it the edge. Ooh, I'm gonna go with a 4.5 for <laughs> online because there, I was annoyed by the sizing thing and there were still some things that I couldn't find, but I did have a quick time finding these. So it's a four and a half for me. This investigation has officially come to a close. You put my sunglasses on and then take them back off. I believe that we have kind of come to the conclusion here yeah. that H&M.com is the better choice for us. I agree. Look at us. We look fabulous, we okay? Thank you, hamsters and monsters, for all that you've done for us. And uh, you let us know in the comment section below, do you like to shop online or in person better? Also, let us know if you have a yacht. Please, because, oh my God. I mean, look at us. <laughs> the picture. <laughs>